Welcome Canes Nation. This is cover two, Josh Darrow and the senior editor for MiamiHurricanes.com, Christy Chirinos. It's game week, and it's not just any game week. It's the Canes and the Gators, and that means full level excitement for this one to open the season. Absolutely. I mean, from the moment we saw the matchup on the schedule, we all know how special Miami and Florida is. We know how rare it can be sometimes, hoping to change that soon. But, you know, that's something that, you know, gets everybody excited all across the state of Florida. And you talk to these guys, they are ready to go. Weeks of camp, weeks of going at each other, months of preparing for this. And it's finally here. Yes, the excitement level is through the roof for those guys. Two guys that seemingly have a little nice little back and forth cat and mouse relationship. Mm -hmm. They're new faces, but they've quickly taken on leadership roles and really on each side of the ball have made their voices heard. And that's Cam Ward on offense and Mish Powell on defense. Yeah, these are two guys who have come in and really quickly established themselves, even though they're new faces, even though they're coming from outside the program, they've really established themselves as, like you said, the voices in the locker room, the voices on the field. You know, you talk to Coach Cristobal and he keeps calling them both alpha dogs, you know, alpha type leaders. They have just come in and just, you know, really just taken control a little bit and said, This is how we're going to do things. And you're going to see it by me through what I do. They do lead by words, but they also lead by their actions. You know, it's not unusual to see them after practice continuing to work or do things, extra film, things like that. You know, they have come in and showed their teammates. I may be the new guy, but I'm going to do the work and we're going to do this together. Well, speaking of control, one thing Mario wanted to take control of was the line of scrimmage. And he certainly has built that up. The wall of mirror ball on one side and JT's gang on the other side. But I think the thing that's interesting that you've kind of picked up on is, yes, on on Green Tree, they're battling. Mm -hmm. But it's sort of what happens off the field that brings that group together to set and continue to raise the bar even higher. It's been really interesting to talk to these guys throughout camp. And and like you said, for the time they're out there on Green Tree, they are butting heads. They are going after each other. That offensive line is testing that defensive line and vice versa. And then when practice is done – They pull each other aside and they'll say, hey, this is why your rush didn't work. Hey, this is why I was able to get by you. This is why this happened. Move, you know, it's so interesting to see, you know, again, after 90, 100 minutes of butting their heads against each other, they're brothers and they take pride in that. And they know ultimately the goal is to make each other better. You spend enough time with them. You hear the phrase iron sharpens iron over and over and over again. It was actually the headline of a story I used this week because they use it so often. Um, And that's what it's been. It's been making each other better. It's been pushing each other to the next level. All so that when Saturday comes around, they'll be ready to face off against an SEC offensive line and an SEC defensive line. And they'll be ready to hit somebody else. Yes, that is obviously <laughs> like, you know, you go through you go through camp and spring ball, and, and these guys haven't hit an opponent since, you know, last season. They're ready to, to kind of take some of that, you know, show off the work that they've done. That's what you hear. They, they're ready to show the work they've put in, and they get to do it against the Gator on Saturday in Gainesville. The location is set. The rivalry will come to life again. this Saturday at the Swamp. You can watch it on ABC. You can listen to us on the radio, 560 WQAM. I'll be patrolling the sidelines, hopefully uh, not getting too uh, worked up in a lather, but it'll be nice and moist out there at the Swamp. You can read her work at MiamiHurricanes.com all season long. Christy, thank you. Look forward to seeing you on Saturday in Gainesville. Go Canes. This has been Cover 2.